Hello you guys and welcome back. I have two new Dollar Tree DIYs for you. So the first one I had in my head and I did not know how it was going to turn out. Um, I had like an idea of what I wanted to do. I do like how it turned out, but I will say it's not going to be the most sturdy little thing you've ever made. So disclaimer, don't put anything heavy on it. Don't put anything breakable on it. Um, I think it's mostly just for kind of like decoration. I did put like a little plant on it and I plan to put it outside. So if we maybe put a drink on it or something, but I wanted to see if I could make a little side table out of Dollar Tree items. So I kind of like thought outside of the box and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really cute. And then the second one, I had another idea in my head, but it did not, that did not go how I wanted it to. So I actually really like how it turned out even better than the idea in my head. If you guys are new, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And let's get into this. All right, so for the table, you're gonna need a little, I got picked up this little serving platter from Dollar Tree, it's just one of the little plastic ones, and then you're gonna need three plungers. So they put the stickers on here and they are really, really hard to get off. So I tried to peel them off and then I sanded them a bit and you're gonna take the rubber part off of the plungers because you're not gonna need that part. This next part is absolutely not necessary, but my husband picked up this fabric. It's cork board fabric. It is so cool. It like feels like an actual cork. He picked that up at Joanne Fabrics the other day when he was there looking for something and he saw it and he's like, I just have to get this. So I'm gonna actually put this on the top of the table after I paint it, uh, but this is not necessary. You don't need to do this, but you can if you want to add a little something else to it but I'm just taking my white paint and I'm going to paint the entire tray white. Now that I've set that aside I'm going to take my Waverly antique paint mixed with a little bit of water and I'm making a little bit of a stain. So I'm going to actually be staining the legs, the aka the plungers, so I think I mixed a little too much water because it got a little messy when I started to do this, but just don't add as much water. Uh, it's totally trial and error. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and stain it. I'm just using one of my little sponges from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna do this with all of the legs. And actually I used probably, I ended up doing maybe two or three coats. You have to wait for them to completely dry and then you can go ahead and start another coat. Next, I'm taking that cork board fabric and I'm tracing the circle around it. I'm not gonna cover the entire top of the tray. But I'm gonna actually take my ruler and measure about an, in, an inch in so that some of the white is still showing because I don't want it to cover the entire thing. Next, I'm taking my E6000 and my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna glue the cork board down to the tray. Now I'm taking my ruler and a black marker and I'm trying to figure out where I wanna put the legs so I'm going to put three of them, so I kind of want to make them be like a perfect triangle. Uh, it's not completely perfect, but the way that they are turned out pretty well centered. So just make sure that you're kind of making a triangle. Now when I was first thinking about this in my head, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll just E6000 and glue gun it and it'll be fine. Yeah, no, the glue would not hold. So my husband actually took this out to the garage and drilled three holes in it where I had the markers. So he put three holes in it. So after I glue it, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and hammer a small little nail into it. So it's just gonna make it have some more like, it's just gonna be more sturdy because otherwise if you don't do this, the legs are just gonna fall right off. So I've had it out on the patio for about a week now and it has actually stayed intact. I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> So once you put all of the nails in, you're gonna do for all three of the legs, then I'm just gluing down the cork board back down to the tray because we did have to bring it up a little bit so we could drill it. 
So once I had that part done, I had the table upright and it was super, super wobbly. So I needed to figure out a way to anchor each of the legs to each other. And the only wood I could think of that I had in my house that was actually from Dollar Tree are from these canvases. So I'm taking all of the, or all of the staples out of these canvases and I'm just gonna kinda take them apart and use the wood pieces from in here. Those wood pieces actually turned out to be a great size. I did have to saw a little bit of them off just to make sure that they would fit, but they were the perfect size and then I just went ahead and stained those. I used my mixture of E6000 and hot glue as well to attach these. Um, you could totally add another nail or screw in there to reinforce it a little bit more, but the glue has, is holding up quite nicely. So once I had all of those attached, I flipped it over and then I went ahead and used my same uh, Waverly Wax Antique Color and I did it as a stain again. This time I didn't add as much water, so these only needed like two coats, I would say. Okay, now on to the little planter. I picked up three of these little tumbling towers from Dollar Tree. I had something else in mind that I wanted to do. I got this little lavender plant from Ikea. It was on sale for $2.99. So you guys should totally check out your Ikea if you have one near you and see if they're having the same sale. I got two of these. So originally what I wanted to do was kind of make like a little planter to just go around it. It wasn't going to have a bottom, it was just really going to go around it and cover the little black part. But I could not figure out a pattern that I liked and it was just giving me too much trouble. So what I ended up doing is actually just gluing the pieces right onto the black pot. So I used the lighter color because I, want, I really liked that natural wood color, I didn't want to do the dark. So I used all of the lighter wood color and just glued them right on there. Now for the last part of this, I just took some of my Dollar Tree twine and I wanted to make sure it was pretty long because I wanted to wrap it around a few times. So I just wrapped it around a few times and tied it in a bow. And that is it for these two little DIYs. I think these turned out super cute. If you guys missed my last video on my patio decor, I made a couple pillows and a couple little, um, like a vase and then a candle. I will link those down below for you guys to check out. But I'm really happy with how these turned out. I think they look cute out there. And like I said, it's not the most durable table, but hey, it's cute. And I couldn't believe I made it out of toilet plungers. So I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you all soon. Bye.